Hello students, and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be learning about pattern ground and frost heave. The formation of a pattern ground. Now this is how pattern grounds form. As hydrostatic pressure increases in the ground, the moisture in the ground is going to begin to freeze, and as a result it's going to rise. This forms an ice lens, which is the group of frozen moisture in the soil. They begin to group together. So this is what it looks like. All of the moisture begins to freeze and forms an ice lens. Capillary action then leads to more moisture joining the ice lens and it's going to make it even bigger. Capillary action is basically when moisture moves through the soil and joins the ice lens. So now we get even more. As the ice lens begins to grow, it will begin to push stones up. So these stones are located firstly in the soil. They get to push up above it, and this is because the stones have a lower specific heat capacity than the ice lens, so they begin to form around the stones. They begin to get pushed up, and the smaller sediment, which is in the soil, begins to filter in the gap to where the stone began to rise up. As a result, it now prevents it from falling back down. The stones now begin to poke out of the ground. This is because the ice lens is pushing up so much that it's actually broken through the um, soil and is now pointing out. Now they may begin to fall out of their position and roll down because of gravity, so they move out of the mound and roll down. The finer sediment is left as the highest part of the soil and they are really what makes up the ground. So they can get left like this. We then get formations that look like this. As all of the time all the stones get moved out, they form a pattern, maybe like a polygon, and the sediment is left where they used to be. So this is a what was an example of a um, pattern polygon in the pattern ground formation. And as we can see, there are a lot of big stones which have been moved up due to frost heave from the ice lenses, and the finer sediment has been left in its place. This leaves a pattern in the ground. And pattern lines are also examples of pattern ground. If the pattern ground process takes place on a slope, a pattern line will form. Now this happens when the stones roll down the slope and gather as a straight line at the bottom. Here are some questions on patterned ground. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video to give yourself time. Hit play to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did get these right, congratulations. I advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the formation of ice wedges and ground contraction. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.